Hello! Are you interested in having an FAQ section or a wiki article section in your SharePoint environment? Are you looking for something that looks polished, it's easy to work with in terms of adding content, and it also looks really nice for your users. Uh, it's easy for them to browse and just a great way for them to get information. Well, today we're going to take a look at a template that allows you to set up this kind of information page in your SharePoint environment and have something that your users are going to really love to look at and where it's easy for you to work with that content, update those articles, and add content. So now, let's get SharePoint smart. Here I am at SharePointDashboards.com and this is the wiki slash FAQ articles template and you can see exactly what it does. It provides you this accordion style article section which you can have in your SharePoint environment. In order to take advantage of this I'm going to be using the grouping option that's available in SharePoint list views and we're going to be applying this template over the top of that. To get started, we first need to set up a new list and have some specific fields. So let's go ahead and review that first. In order to use this template, we're going to use the regular title field, which comes in every SharePoint list. And then after that, we're going to add a new text field, which will be named section. That's going to be used for the grouping so that um, accordion header that expands and claps, um, that is going to be the section field. After that we want a field called title order and this is simply a number field and we're going to use this to control the order of the articles that appear. So you may have multiple articles in a section and you want to have some control over what order in which those appear. So that's the purpose of that title order field. Notice that has no space in it. The next one is called details. That should be a multi-line text field and that is the text body of each article. So that's where you're going to um, enter in the uh, detailed uh, text um, providing directions and explanation for that article. After that we're going to have a field called link. That is simply a hyperlink field and for each article you may optionally provide a hyperlink or omit that, in which case this won't show, and it shows a little hyperlink button which allows uh, for the ability to um, link to additional content. Okay, and then the last one that we need to know about is the image field, and this is so that you can include screenshots and other diagrams, pictures that you want to add with your article um, to illustrate what you're describing. So uh, you'll be able to just drag and upload an image for each article and that will appear there. That also isn't required. If that's not provided, um, it would just uh, omit that part of your um, article content. So you do want to begin by creating those fields and then once you've done that, you need to follow the instructions that are in this blue box to set up the um, view grouping settings. So let's take a look at that real quick. If I go to edit the current view, uh, we'll review some of the key settings. First, make sure that you have all of those fields and that they are set to appear in your view. Otherwise, this template won't work correctly. Make sure you have your sort set to sort by this title order field that we created. And that's how we're controlling the order of articles that appear under each section. And then we'll take a look at the grouping, uh, which is key for this template. So uh, we're going to have this grouped by this field called section, and then we want to make them by default collapse. We want it to start in a collapse state. Those are all the key settings that you need in order to be ready to apply this template. Now, as you can see, this is very plain vanilla and uh, not the way we want things to appear in SharePoint, but once we apply our template, then we're going to be good to go. 
So I'm going to come back over here and notice all of the uh, settings in terms of the colors and the look and feel are all adjustable. So you can get this to look however you want. You might take a look at some of the theme options that demonstrate some examples of what you might do and it's really entirely up to you. You can get that look and feel um, to match whatever your branding is, however you want that to look. I'm going to stick with the theme one template and I'm just simply going to click copy template, follow these instructions in the box, and then I can come back over here and I will go into my view selector, click format current view, advanced mode, select all, paste, and save. There we go. So um, you can see exactly how this works. I've got these accordion sections that can expand and collapse. And so now I've got a single SharePoint page in which I could view, you know, a hundred articles if I wanted to. I could really add as much as I want and the user is able to just expand and collapse sections very easily. Notice that there is an edit button appearing in the bottom right corner and this will take you into the edit form where you can make updates. Now you may want to uh, hide that on the view that most users see and so that's easy to accommodate. There is an option to show the edit button or not. So a suggestion on that is to make one view called wiki edit and then make the other view just called wiki and you can just apply the template with the edit button uh, for the edit view and then uh, take that off for the view where you do not want that to appear. Additionally, you can do things like tweak the width of the article, you can tweak the indent, how far over it appears. Um, those are all adjustable, so you can get this to look however you want. So there's lots of configuration options here to um, get your wiki or FAQ to look just how you want, and it's going to be really nice for those users uh, taking a look at that information. So I hope you found that interesting. I know a lot of people are looking for a nice, elegant way to show informational content. It could be for training purposes, um, it could just be general information that needs to be provided uh, based on benefits, updates that are happening in the company, uh, whatever the case may be. This is a great system in that it doesn't have multiple pages where you're jumping around all over the place. That could be confusing, not the most user-friendly experience. And so this is good from two perspectives. As the author of content is writing articles, it's really easy to add new articles by just filling out a SharePoint item. I just keep adding new items to the list and then I can group them into sections. From the user standpoint, it's just very nice for them because they don't have to jump around all over the place. It's very easy and intuitive to understand this. You just simply click on those accordion headers and you can expand and collapse sections and go right to the content that you care about. So it's just a nice, easy to work with system, whether writing content or you're just viewing the information. So I hope you found that interesting. I hope you're able to take a look at this template. This template is uh, available as part of the subscription and SharePoint dashboards. Uh, if you've not yet used these tools, I hope you'll come and take a look. You can get a free login, which has access to 21 templates, and then the Subscription allows you access to, as of this video, 183 different kinds of dashboard templates that you can use in SharePoint. Good luck.